And in, in those early days, mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of negative imagery oh, to, yes. about black people oh, yes. to get over. Mm -hmm. What kinds, what were the images like of black people in those days? I mean, what, what were you, what were you fighting against and yes. wanted to correct? Well, you have to fight against the morality as well as the physical, you know, the way they looked and unacceptable where they dress, where they sit, where they stand, and you know, like, like almost like the, uh, the old things in the, um, the, the singing uh, craze that, that you have now, what do you call it? Hip-hop? Uh, not the hip, hip hmm? um, worse than the hip-hop, what's the other one? The rap. The rap. Rap. Uh -huh. Yeah, see how they dress? Mm -hmm. See, I, those are the kind of things I would not let them go out to present the image because the companies did want that image. So I had to tell them how to dress so they would be acceptable across the board. Mm -hmm. See, and not to, not to dress like they were white or black, just like to make them look the most elegant, the most acceptable, the most beautiful in the world, you see. But in terms of the stereotypes of black people in those days, mm -hmm. which some of them still remain today, that, uh, you know, blacks are, are uh, uh, lazy or they're not very bright or they're uh, uh, not interested in the future or they're, they're all sorts of negative beliefs about mm -hmm. black people mm -hmm. uh, that were much stronger in the 1940s. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I would assume that some of these young women uh, came to your school with those kinds of preconceptions about themselves. They, they brought them, but I had, to, I had to undo that. Because what happened, when, I fin when we finished with them, if they didn't model, most of them didn't want to model anyway, but they wanted to get acceptance, and they want to be respected, they want to be admired, they wanted to belong. Most of them got marvelous husbands. See, that's basically what most of them wanted, because first place is that they didn't have enough confidence to go out constantly to, in the modeling field to be rejected because they weren't that strong. So, but they did get the other things that they that they had been told that they should have better husbands and better this and that. They became more popular. And these are the kind of things that enhance them to say, look, if I, if I prepare myself, if I get the knowledge, and if I get the experience, I can achieve just about anything that I want. See, they gave them the confidence to be daring.